girl will get a job, get a job, sister. Get a job. Get a job! How do you know? How do you know? Everyone will be restored. Can I hear that? Amen. Amen. Greetings, church. A special greetings to mommy and daddy. I'm here to testify and thank God of charity for what he has done for me. I've been unemployed from 2017. From 2017, I've been crying for a permanent job. Which was not coming. I believe most pastors of Charis have prayed for me for the same thing that I've been crying for. But it was tough. In 2018, I ended up coming to Mama because I couldn't afford to pay rent to do everything. Mama uh, started paying uh, for my rent and buying food for me. I thank you, Mommy, for that. Um, I kept on coming to church, praying for the same thing. I later realized last year that I was seeking for more blessings than seeking God. I then took a decision that whether the blessings are coming or not, I will still serve God. That's when I saw change in my life. Last year, March, Prophet Andre started delivering me for a job to, uh, that was to come. Prophet Andre But it wasn't easy. Until the year came to an end last year, there was nothing. I was just working a contract which was I was going on and off. Wednesday. Wednesday when he was done praying for everybody at church on the 22nd of uh, February, he pointed at me and said, your job is about to come. It was a confirmation now that the job is coming. I also thank God for blessing me with a job. Um, on Tuesday, uh, last week, last week, uh, I received a call for a job that I was not even expecting, for a company that I never even applied for. They called me and confirmed my names. They told me that they're offering me a position of this and that. We are inviting you for an interview tomorrow, which was the 1st of March. And then uh, I agreed. That email. They sent me an appointment let, uh, email later on. I also confirmed um, the appointment. The confirm appointment. The, the appointment was supposed to be 11 o'clock. Appointment was in I was really skeptical because I never applied for a job. So the, the, I was like, I woke up late. Work. I was like, I late. I, I got there, I was like almost an hour late. I give it a basically hour late. I was so relaxed. Nakily relaxed. When I got to the interview room, I gave it like an interview. They told me that we've been waiting for you. But uh, an angel away made. And then I was like, okay, I'm already here. The first thing that they asked me, now that you are here, how much do you want to earn? And I was confused because I've been working for a very long time. I said, I don't know how much you're offering, but I'll take. They said to me, you need to tell us how much. They then asked me how much you were earning in your previous permanent job. I told them. And um, they said, uh, are you, when, uh, when do you want to start to work? I said, I can start now because I'm available. They said, um, if then all goes wrong, well, you'll have to come back tomorrow morning. And then I, uh, there was nothing, there was no interview. I ended up being the one asking them questions. 
Then I left. I came to church. When we were doing declarations with Daddy, I received an email with an offer. I couldn't believe when I saw the email with an offer. Honestly, it was a miracle job because I never applied for the job. Even the money that they offered, I, was, I couldn't decline. It was way better than the companies that I've worked for before. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe that the God of Charis really, really works, then I don't know. He worked for me. When everybody rejected me, I kept on uh, believing in God of this house. My family was like, you're wasting money. Why don't you go back home? You kept on coming to this church. I mean, you don't see any change in your life. Why do you keep on coming to this church? They told me to, to find second options. I said, I'll hold on to this job. Where I want to see myself testifying is the very same altar that I'm standing in today. I thank God. Amen. Amen.